Hey guys, um, just wanted to make a little video. I've been doing quite a bit of work on my CNC machine and um, I've got a, a tool changer all working. Um, so a random position 24 tool automatic tool changer. I've got spindle orientation all working. Um, the spindle breaks in about 4 seconds now from 10,000 RPM. Um, just making some parts here. So. In here, um, like holes are all rigid tapped, um, everything's machined, deburred, and everything off the machine. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys what Linux CNC is actually like, um, and what you can do on a on a big machine. Because um, I don't think there's enough big machines that get done with Linux CNC, and people don't trust it. So this is what you can do. This is my ladder logic. This is doing the tool change. Um, okay. So down here I've got a whole bunch of buttons like cycle start and stop and everything else but they are not currently connected because I was in a hurry so we're going to use a mouse and click on cycle start. Cool. So when you click on cycle start the machine preloads the tool, the spindle orientates, uh, I need to fix that orientation a little bit and make it a bit faster but that's okay. Changes tools. It's now drilling. Um, I stuffed up this drill cycle and I'm taking typically a cut. So you get too many chips in, stuck in the drill and it's a little bit of a problem. I'm, I'm not picking enough, but that's okay. I don't think I'll snap the drill. I might actually fix that, I don't like it. Um, so now it's just drilling the next lot of holes. This machine, um, I've got Chinese Yuhai servo drives on it. Um, they've only got two and a half thousand pulses per revolution encoders and um, they do sell absolute ones which I've got on my other machine and I really should have bought them so I'm probably going to retrofit the servo drives with better encoders. It just means your tuning is so much nicer and easier and yeah. So, we're now using uh, Huana, an email supplier I, I sell across New Zealand, using one of the emails. So we'll go to here where you can see it. So in the video here in the screen, you can see the extents of the machine. Doing a tool change. Loading the new tool. Cool. So this is my deburring tool. As you can see, it's just going around. Um, I'm just going to move over a bit. Ah, oh, yeah. Here's our, here's our model. And here's the second machine. So, looking around here, we've got one CNC lathe, one manual lathe, one CNC mill. The one on the left is the one I'm taking the video on. And around here, a new machine. One six meter long CNC router, oh, eight meters, six meter travel, eight meter long machine. That's the next beast. So anyway, back to this machine. So we're changing to a tap now, it's an M8 tap with a picture of 1.25. Get a close up in case I snap it. Ah, oh, don't you love rigid tapping? And that cycle done. I'll load another part.